It is Wednesday, the 6th day of July, 2011. You know, over the weekend, I shot a lot of videos dealing with the fact that Time Magazine, CNN, newspapers all over the country, TV shows, ABC This Week, demonize and attack the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence, like it was a case of syphilis or gonorrhea. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, private property rights, Second Amendment, basic freedom, uh, due process, uh, binding down the government, empowering the individual. These are the ideas uh, that are universally recognized as the bedrock of liberty. And what do the globalists prescribe in their place? Tyranny, a nanny state, regulation, incredible levels of control. All of this. Now, now that said, uh, Kurt Nemo has written this excellent uh Declaration of Independence for 2011. And it could have been longer. It could have been more detailed. But I, I want him to write something basic just to get people thinking and talking. You know, we get in the mode of thinking uh, government is the boss, so whatever it does, it does. No, we have a right to say we have a Declaration of Independence against what you've done, just as our forebears did in 1776. And to state the crimes committed uh, by these social engineers. You know, if you go back to the Declaration of Independence from 1776, July 4th, it really is a continuation of the Committees of Correspondence, where the Sons of Liberty, for more than a decade before the physical war broke out, would issue pamphlets locally, kind of an underground news system, when there was British censorship in the newspapers, uh, exposing the tyranny and corruption and hypocrisy of the state. And that's really what InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com are doing in the... 21st century. We're just simply getting you to not even buy into what we believe or what we think, but to think for yourself and realize a lot of incredible things are going on. And so that's why we've launched InfoWars Insider, this newsletter. Uh, that's why I'm launching the new daily weekday or weeknight TV show coming up uh, in October. I'll give you an actual date in the next week or so. That's why we're not sitting on our laurels and the hundreds of millions of people we've reached because now the world is more uh, awake and, 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 and ready to hear the really hardcore truths than they've ever been before. And that's why it's so important to realize that none of us are going to save the world by ourselves. None of us have the answers individually. None of us are going to be able to defeat tyranny by ourselves. And, and, and none of us are going to be able to do it with one failed strike at the heart of the dragon. It's simply spreading the culture of liberty, standing up against corruption, speaking out in little ways, in big ways. Uh, it's starting a YouTube channel. It's calling into talk radio. It's visiting with your state representatives. It's filing a lawsuit uh, on the government when they violate your rights. Uh, it's simply saying no and not complying with tyranny. It's jury nullification. Juries uh, that judge the facts uh, as well as the law. Uh, that's jury's power, as the founders spoke, and as, as all of our jurisprudence uh, reported into the last 50 years that even if you think somebody, you know, did actually commit the crime, if the jury believes the law is a fraud, that's the people's veto. Just like the grand jury um, can no bill uh, someone who they believe acted in self-defense, even though the prosecutor uh, is trying to get them indicted. You have to exercise your freedoms and exercise your powers or just like muscles, they will atrophy and you will lose it. And that's what tyranny is, is when the people lay down and are dominated and give in to corruption, uh, that we get nightmare scenarios in society. As we get away from the Bill of Rights and Constitution, we see all the blessings, all the liberties, all the good things disappearing, dissipating, drying up like puddles of water in the Sahara Desert. It's our job uh, to reignite those flames of liberty uh, and and and... In this time of great corruption, people are ready to hear the truth. Our information stands out like a candle in the night or like a torch on a hilltop. And none of us, again, are going to be able to stop the system by ourselves, but all of us poking little holes in that electronic Berlin wall lets more and more of the light in. And there's already gaping holes in their facade and their fraud. They're losing credibility. Congress has a 9% approval rating. Obama's free-falling. And so the system is desperate to put us back in the box. So a great battle, a great clash of ideas, liberty versus tyranny, is now upon us. We are the sons and daughters of the spirit of 1776. It's time to wake up and fight back. God bless you, my friends. 
And I hope to see all of you on the front lines, not behind me, but right beside me in this fight for human liberty.